got the social medias, we got the social medias. You got the Facebooks, we got the Facebooks. You got the Twitters, we got the Tweeters. We got the uh, Instagrams, we don't really use that one too much, but you know, we're on there too. If there's something else, we probably got it. You can find them all in the description at the bottom. Hey everybody, I want to talk about the end of the world. Uh, before I ask the question I want to ask everyone, I want to go into a little bit of, um, little bit, little bit of background here. Are you going to explain what the world is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so have you guys ever heard of the, I think it's called the World One Computer Program? You ever heard of that? I think you've told it me about it. It was developed. It was developed in 1973 Ooh. Um, by like MIT and several. It was called the Club of Rome, and it's just like various. <laughs> Sounds like, like some nerds. Yeah, it's like just various like you United Nations people and just like thinkers and bullshit like that. Um, basically, what this program does is it predicts our current population level the current level of industry and current pollution levels. And it kind of just like puts it all into a really cool graph to show us like what will happen if we continue at the same level we're on. Oh. Well, in 1973, they developed this program and it showed that if we continue to the levels we were at, I guess then, uh, that by the year 2040, our population is going to decline. That was 2050. Uh, it's between 2040 and 2050. It's okay. 2040 now. Like, okay. I think it used to be 2050, but now they're like, it's 2040 now. <laughs> okay. Um, we did not so continue at the same levels. So. Yeah, basically what this program is saying is that uh, by 2040, the world is going to, like, collapse on itself, basically. Mm. Like, human population is going to, like decline we're mm. all gonna die basically uh and we should start seeing those first uh problems in 2020 so hey, yay that's this year so my question for everyone is what are you doing to prepare yourself for the apocalypse well i'm like uh, reading my bj's membership tomorrow and buying a lot of toilet paper and paper towels <laughs> you imagine that you need a lot of toilet paper and paper towels for the have world? you not seen the news uh, japan no you can't find toilet paper on the shelves really? at all yeah are they making their own masks well they also oh, don't, don't use toilet paper a lot it's mainly butthole spraying yeah well yeah you gotta wipe that well, the not, air not, well the reason not, I ask not every is toilet has a because bidet, but, at, yeah. at work uh we were concerned back in january because everyone was sick and we tried to buy masks um just you know surgical mm -hmm. masks were at work and because that was when the coronavirus had first started uh we could not get masks anywhere yeah. like all of the stores were sold out everywhere online was sold out and you can't buy cheap chinese masks <laughs> Because, yeah. <laughs> because they come with the coronavirus. Yeah, they That's come with it. They, That's not no. true. <laughs> but there, there is a lot of factories getting, like, shut down yeah. and halted in China right now because of the virus. Actually, so. the um, space station recently did a report <laughs> on how, mu how much the pollution has gone down just because all the factories are closed wow. in yeah. China. Yeah. Like, significant That's levels yeah. within three weeks. Yeah. Huh. So it seems also funny that like I bring up this MIT thing and that they're saying that we'll first start seeing these side effects like in 2020 and you always got to wonder like oh is this going to be the same as like the swine flu and the bird flu like we lived through those things it was just a new disease right uh, is this um, and this is still like just, technically just, another flu yeah it's just another flu like thing but <clears throat> I guess because we don't know much about it it's spreading so quickly yeah. um it, well, there's so, some cause well, the, the survival rate with the coronavirus for people in their 30s is like 90 9.9%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's it would mostly affect like young old. young people, old people yeah. and people with like immuno compromised immuno systems. So. Yay. Yay. <laughs> um so as a person with a compromised immune system, I am a little concerned about it, but also uh going to practice good hygiene and mm -hmm. when everyone at the office gets sick, I'm going to work from home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, this turned a little bit more serious yeah. than I wanted, I think. Um, um, going back, like, imagine that it's like... <laughs> imagine hey, Brady, thanks that for letting us know we're all going to die in 20 years. <laughs> well, we're all, we could all die tomorrow. I it's mean, fine. like, I'm just saying that, we're like... We're all just meat sacks that I are eventually going to die. I don't want to be, like, on the verge of conspiracy theories, even though, like, that's... That's your forte? That's my forte. Mm -hmm. Um... But if this is true, 2040, we will most likely all be alive in 2040. Yeah. Um, that's just 20 years from now. So, like, I imagine, <laughs> so let's just say, like, it's The Walking Dead, but without zombies, you know, mm -hmm. just, like, it. you have to, like, scavenge for shit or whatever. Yeah. Like, what are some skills that mm -hmm. you are, that you would like to learn or that you have that you think would help you in the apocalypse? 
I think I'm pretty good at talky talky. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I make my money on the internet. Mm-hmm. So uh, <laughs> if that happens, I am fucked monetarily. Yeah. Um, yeah. I guess maybe just be big and strong. But <laughs> if. We should go to that bar downtown that you throw axes at. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we can practice like our axe throwing skills. (laughs) So Um, we're going to have to hunt for food. (laughs) But like not to get sad, but if the apocalypse happens and certain infrastructure things break down, I'm probably dead in two years. Yeah. You think Um, so? Well, yeah, because because of my autoimmune disease. disease, You got to start like stocking up on that stuff now, man. Cost $40,000 of treatment. (laughs) Well, we wanted to do more crimes this year. Oh, yeah. So how about should, we break it? <laughs> I should check the shelf life on it and just, like, start stockpiling it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, there's, all those medications have expiration dates, yeah. but not really. I did. Um, <laughs> the fact that this goes down, that's all right. Years ago, work. for a job, I went down a weird rabbit hole mm-hmm. on, like, doomsday preppers. Um, and I think the important thing, like, okay, we're going to want seeds. Mm-hmm. We're going to want weapons. Um, and we're going to want like generators and other systems. So we're going to want a lot of spare appliance parts. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. and enough of an understanding to replace and repair those. But a big thing that I have with the apocalypse is like, cool, you survived the apocalypse. Now what? Now this is the life worth living. Yeah, I'm excited. That's true. <laughs> I don't have to worry about taxes or bills or alarm clocks. So you'd go full raider? Oh hell yeah! I think I think we would make a good raider squad. Yeah, you and so, I, like Brian and Hutch. I'll tell you something. I'm doing I've got to prepare plans, this but year. You go ahead. 2020, I'm getting Crowd la- McGaw. I'm getting LASIK. Oh, okay. Because I'm thinking, if I lose these glasses or lose mm. my contacts, I have terrible vision. Yeah, I will not survive without it. I need I need that LASIK. Yeah. So I'm getting LASIK this year. <laughs> and when they I'm ask me, call. like, I don't think they'll ask me, like, why I'm getting it. But if they do, I'm going to be like, for the apocalypse. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. <laughs> I think um, one of the safest long-term investments is in better health. Mm-hmm. So I think, like, we're all trying to get healthier. We're yeah. all trying to um, get our bodies in better shape so that we can survive longer. In the post-apocalyptic wasteland. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, then we just need to talk about growing our skill set. So um, so I already know how to uh, skin and like dress rabbit. And I could probably do a deer because it's just like a rabbit, but on a bigger scale. Brittany's going to be the only reason why we survive. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Boy, I'm, I'm going to stick with you. Okay. You, know, like you. You know what you're doing. <laughs> she has thought about this a lot, guys. This is well, not the first time so I've heard other, about like, all of this. I grew up in the country, so like we had a, a lot of self-sufficiency up there. Yeah. Um, a lot of times like we would hunt for food. Um, we grew our own garden, so I know yeah. a lot about growing food too. I know a little um, bit about growing food. Yeah, and um, I know quite a bit about just like flora and fauna in the woods. Like yeah. I know what you can and can't eat, at least here in North Carolina. Like I know a lot about the bullshit here, but yeah. we'll see. Like, yeah, <laughs> part of that population a decline is due to like pollution. Yeah, so it also makes me wonder, like, how will it change our environment? Like I've already seen the. It's so much hotter here than it used to be when I was a kid. Yeah, um, we've only gotten one snow this year, and it feels like Florida in this over. area yeah, now. Because like yeah. I'm from Florida. Die. And now up here feels like Florida, and it wasn't when I first got here yeah, twenty yeah. some years ago. So I'm like, now we can grow citrus trees. Yeah, make a little greenhouse. Grow yeah. Some citrus trees. So I, 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 so I think we need to buy a compound mm-hmm. or a house mm-hmm. with um, solar panels. Uh, I think we need a couple of acres out back. Yeah, my friends up in Colorado have solar power mm-hmm. and uh, chickens in their backyard. Mm-hmm. So. I like the idea of getting chickens because they're, like, super low maintenance, consistent source of food, um, and they're fucking adorable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, then after three years, the hit, when the hens stop laying, then you can eat them. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, I want to build a modern castle. Mm. Um, uh, I've, I've already thought about this. When Brittany and I lived uh, with her parents up in the mountains, yeah. I was just like, the top of this hill would be a perfect spot for, like... Uh, a castle. So I did some research on that ca- on like a castle. Castlery. <laughs> castlery. And there are companies that make modern 
like castles. It's basically a modern mm-hmm. house, but with like the outward appearance of like all these stone architecture castle stuff. Yeah. But you can make it in such a way to where you still have like electricity and whatnot flowing through and going uh, and having mm-hmm. proper insulation. But what's really nice about that is we could uh, do a combination of your solar panels. What I would want to do is also buy several, and I mean several, uh, double digits of the um, Tesla battery packs. Yeah. Um, because if one breaks down, you just put pop another one on and right. try and repair the other one so you're not fucking yeah. lingering. Well, and yeah. if, if you have a large house, you can put more solar arrays mm-hmm. on it. And mm-hmm. You can you can bring more. Um, uh, I'd want my own. Store more I'd want my own water tower. Yeah. and my own well system. Both. Yeah. Yeah, I would say another redundancy. Thing to be redundant systems. Another is the like we already have an issues where people don't have clean drinking water. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. so like I think drinking having a proper way to like clean your drinking water is very important. Yeah. Um, it's it's like camping. You want to take care of the basics first. Yeah. You need to have food. You need to have water. And you need to have a place to exist <laughs> safely. Um, yeah. My and the uh, places to sa- uh, safely exist. One of my other goals, and this was just the dumbest idea ever, mm-hmm. but I kind of love it. I was thinking, wow, it'd be really hard to drive up this uh, mountain during the winter to get yeah. groceries and whatnot. Not, what if I'm stuck in house? Well, what if you just build a really, really deep basement and have like an elevator shaft yeah. to that basement? So now you're at the bottom of the hill or mountain and you can just drive out into the main road. <laughs> But yeah, now like I'm thinking, cave. what if yeah. I have like <laughs> total a bat cave. total bat cave? <laughs> what if we also just use that as like a safety area for when people show up yeah. to try and get all of our assets? Yeah. So we could like technically find a way to save the most valuable part, your yeah. life, yeah, <laughs> and move forward. So I've thought about that too as well. Also, it have just... you ever seen the the houses that they're building in old missile silos? Yes, yeah, yes. It's, like a, it's very similar to that. That honestly, that would be the easiest solution. Yeah. Um, my solution was just like grandiose thinking. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> let's drill down. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I like the idea of um, like tiny houses. Mm-hmm. Um, because they're portable, um, that you they can be relatively off the grid. Mm-hmm. Old trailer park to. hutch over here. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, I like the idea. You know, you, you get you know your solar you know uh, situation set up. You know, uh, and your you know your you're not stuck in a single. So you environment. would think that you'd you're be more stuck. of a nomad situation, like yeah. you would try to travel around. I, I yeah. think nomad might be a good way to go. There was a uh zombie survival competition and they were like trying it was a bunch of people who were trying to figure out like the best setups Mm -hmm. and one of the ones that Mm -hmm. i saw was essentially like four barges connected together and that like so you're on the water you don't have to like go to land and deal with the zombies unless you have to Mm -hmm. um they, it had like solar arrays farming stuff yeah yeah (laughs) well and that's I mean, I think Water World might not be a bad way to go about it. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're going to have more water. I do like the idea <laughs> of being uh, nomadic because uh, I'm more Mad Max than Water World. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so then we just need to get four Tesla Cyber Trucks with <laughs> machine guns mounted on the top of them. Oh, now yeah. I want this to And happen. also yeah. like some solar panels to recharge them. Hell yeah. Okay, now I'm, I'm excited. Totally down for that, yeah. I'd like to learn some, like, basic first aid, too. Like, yeah. like being able to stitch up, like, wounds and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I think I could... Well, I think everyone needs to have those basic skills, but yeah. you also yeah. need to get, like, a, okay, you, you're a doctor, you want to survive, right? Okay, come here. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think that's part of the thing, is we need to grow our connections, we need to yeah. figure out who our team is going to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, start building your team now. It's 2020. We're out of time. It's so, like, you don't want it to be middle middle school dodgeball yeah. out there. So do you think the good strategy is to build, like, a community of people kind of, like, you know, rather than just kind of huffing it like a small, like, group? Yeah. Than, yeah. A, a commune. Like, you, you, um, so part of the joke of, like, cool, you survived the apocalypse, now what? Yeah. Like, you need to rebuild. Yeah. yeah. You need to create a functioning society. Um and try to move forward so the thing that worries me about that would be like uh uh that not um is it i am legend no that's not what i'm thinking of uh what what's the one 
what's the one where it has Denzel Washington? He's blind and he's trying to get oh, a book Bible. of Eli. Eli. Book of Eli. That's uh, that situation. The people that worry me are the little bit of civilization there that are run by evil men or evil yeah. people in general. Mm-hmm. We already have that. Oh, yeah. yeah, we already have that. <laughs> we have that on a massive scale. Right. But like, uh, they're at. They're, I. Despite what he says, I don't think Trump could go out and murder someone in Times Square and get away with it. Yeah. I think it'd be very close think, to it. I think there are a lot of people who would say he was acting in self-defense. Yeah. <laughs> but, all right, I'm going to give this one another five. But in the apocalypse, murder is legal. So. Yeah, so right. it's one of those things. Now like, you could kill those evil men. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean. That's there's becoming the evil men. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. But vicious cycles. it's a vicious cycle. <laughs> I do. I am really excited about the idea of just like the nomadic stuff uh-huh. that excites me. Uh, don't put me on a barge at all. Uh, but I'll do it for survival. But I'm yeah. now going to be happy about it. Yeah. But yeah, I do. Honestly, I think there should be like lots of home spots that you can just dig in, and for like a yeah. winter or something, you're set. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because if things go to shit. That means heavy winters are going to come back pretty quickly yeah. within like 10 years mm. because industry is going to go down to the point that it doesn't exist, which means pollution is mm-hmm. going to go down to the point that's not a problem. The earth is going to fix itself pretty quickly. And guess what? It's going to get fucking cold again yeah. really fucking quickly. Yeah. The earth's going to be fine. Mankind yeah. The earth's fine. will just be fucked. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Like, I'm not worried about earth as much as I am worrying about being able to live there. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry that this got so dramatic and serious. I meant it to no, be a not. light, fun conversation, but maybe I shouldn't have led with but the MIT. This computer. is all your fault. But, but yeah, look it up if you're curious. It's called uh, World One, I believe. So Brittany has talked to me about yeah, this subject on several times mm-hmm. and tried to get me to engage with her. Yeah. And this was her way to do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just want to engage with me. You just yeah. the yeah, wall. I'm just like, great, Brittany. So this isn't related to the um, the Minutes to Midnight. No, that is uh, a nuclear thing. commission. Okay. I don't know what that is, but gotcha. that'll be for another topic, I guess. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, and I can't find it in my quick little research. Um, I had heard, though, that this computer had predicted other, like, slight declines in population throughout, throughout the years, and they we've already passed those years, and they all have been correct. Mm. So mm. that's the other issue. Everyone's like, oh, fuck. Mm. So, like, mm. it's, yeah. I bet there's a lot of overlap between that and the we live in a simulation people. Oh, yeah. Probably. There's quite a few. Yeah. <laughs> also, I read another website that said, I think it was Isaac Newton, mm-hmm. who said that he thought the world would end by 2060. And he did some, like, little nerdy math <laughs> shit and was like, I think the world's going to end by 2060. So that one that's, that's definitely that's you, selection bias. You yeah, so? he probably yeah. wore a calculator watch. I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> to be, uh, he did invent calculus, but <laughs> <laughs> fucking nerd. He did it on a dare too. <laughs> but you can't invent math. That- <laughs> no, he was like trying to solve a problem, and to solve the problem, he invented calculus, mm. and it was just like a bar dare. <laughs> It's okay. People just honestly said it to go make him go away because no one liked him. <laughs> I'm not kidding. He was pretty much a pariah of his time. Yeah. That's, okay. I, yeah. I've heard According that. to this article on the open openculture.com, which Ugh. is not secure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Their first trust. line is: In 1704, Isaac Newton predicted the end of the world sometime around uh, the year 2060 using a strange series of mathematical calculations. So whatever. If you believe that website, I guess that website. That website <laughs> that didn't even pay for a TLS cert. <laughs> <sighs> well, whatever. Anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah but, good times. Good All times. Right, cool. We'll, we'll see you. Yeah. See you guys next time. We'll see you maybe. in the apocalypse. Unless the apocalypse <laughs> happens, then bye. 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 Will we still post heat uh, heat wave after? Yes, we'll okay. be the one human people, signal. Just people actually show up in the audience. We'll all have ham radios. We'll do it live. Okay, cool. We're like, you're out there. What did you think about the Sonic movie? <laughs> 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 We're still talking about like video game topics. Yeah, like nothing well. is. Hey guys, remember when we had electricity? That was great. <laughs> hey, guess what? We're all just a bunch of crazy people in a room with like no electricity. <laughs> like we're broadcasting live. Everything's retro video games now. Can I have like a a like a survival tip corner? <laughs> yes, of or course. I say like in the event of a fallout, don't use conditioner because it'll make the 
the radioactivity shit stick to your hair particles. Like, (laughs) don't use conditioner. That's a thing. I read that. I think you should have a survival (laughs) tip corner. Just from here on out. If you you like this broadcast, like and subscribe. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Smash that like button, which is Derek's face. (laughs) (laughs) Ha, 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 ha.